What's up, my Moon Tribe? Holy shit. <clears throat> Excuse me. What's up, my Moon Tribe? I'm Haley. Welcome back to Moon Tribe Tarot. These are general messages only, which means to take what resonates and behind what does not. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, please feel free to do so, as they are tailor-made for you with your story 100% in mind, and all the information that you would need for that is in the description box down below. I've already gone ahead and pulled your cards on the 7th to the 14th, 2020. <clears throat> Excuse me, let's get right off into it. We have the Eight of Wands, the Page of Cups, and the Ace of Swords. The Eight of Cups represents a situation, this is not the Eight of Cups, the Eight of Wands represents a situation in which something very fast and almost chaotically comes in. Um, but it's usually a good, passionate card, it represents travel over water, over air, it represents movement. This is something passionate and fast that's happening, and it is going to be some sort of declaration of either love or um, news of travel or opening an invitation up to somebody to expand emotionally on something with somebody that you are um, a part of. And the Page of Cups is uh, a baby sign, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, would represent a situation. I get this more as an event or, or less than a... I, I usually get this less as a person and more as an event, as somebody that you are fostering emotion with somebody it might be a new beginning with somebody it might be a baby emotion a new relationship or a friendship whatever this is this is some sort of emo emotion um that is being given and it is a new form but it is definitely something very passionate there's a lot of passionate and a lot of love to be had here a lot of emotion a lot of passion and those two together are kind of like a whirlwind kind of thing. And we got the Ace of Swords as advice. And wow, what a, like a, I don't want to say like it's chaotic, but it's a little bit like, ooh, this is a whirlwind situation. It's going to come in really quickly. The Ace of Swords represents wielding your truth with logic and clarity and to um, wield it in a way that helps people instead of hurting people because air signs can kind of oopsie daisy that sometimes. But this is a triumphant new beginning. Let us see what says as advice. Take up this idea, this solution, and this truth, and wield it with love. You've been given a gift to restore peace and not to destroy. So basically, honestly, this is a really honest to God, just very goodbye. <laughs> it's a honest to God, um, really... Oh, fuck, hold on, sorry. It's a... I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill someone. It's a honest to God... <laughs> But hold on. Oh no. The whole No, I'm not I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. No, I'm not. Now you know that this is in the closet. <laughs> okay. Hi, we're Ratchet here. We put canvas on the walls. So this is a situation in which um you have I feel like there's a new truth with this person. There's this is a general overall being spread from the seventh to the fourteenth. I don't ew. I don't feel like this is, uh, like there's anything uh, wrong to be had here. Let's see where this goes, what direction does this go. Yeah, Queen of Wands. You're harnessing in your power. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Oh, it just has fire in your chart somewhere, but there is a lot of passion to be had. The Queen of Wands represents a really good card for the self, for somebody that is a leader, business, job, home, or career, whatever it is. She's somebody that is incredibly good with um, her, her power, with with her um with the way that she controls things and has power she is good with uh, she'd be a good mother she'd be a good um a leader at a work situation would be a breadwinner kind of role model she would be a leader she is somebody that is very fiery and doesn't go down without a fight but honestly this is a really general good overall spread from the 7th to the 14th i don't feel like there's it's nothing that here that's like a like a like, there's a new, I don't want to say it's not a new beginning, but there's nothing here that's like a major life-changing event. It's just a general period of either traveling or having some sort of fast-acting um, passion with somebody um, that you have decided some sort of truth about. It could be, honestly, the truth uh, opening up to love, like deciding to love somebody. It, it, this is predominantly a well-being spread and also showing of emotional but this is an all across the board really solid reading in general um it comes out there are uh, there's a little bit something here for everything except for earth um but let's we'll see who this is for this is for taurus of course there's no earth here for taurus <laughs> but um there is honestly this is a pretty good time from the 7th to the 14th there's nothing here to be worried about and i'll see you on the flip side what's up taurus peace out goodbye